Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is Comms Prepper one uh, with my second video. Uh, not too fancy here, but we're going to give it a shot. Today's video is what I would call a poor man's repeater. Uh, it's a simplex repeater uh, that allows you to relay radio transmissions, uh, give you greater coverages and distances. Uh, I'll show you here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, so I'll bring it up. Uh, it's called the ADS-SR1 by Argent Data Systems, uh, 89 bucks. Uh, you can buy them online. I think the company's out of California. I'll post a link below. And I made a little sheet here. So you can see that okay. I call this the poor man's repeater. Sorry about the lighting. I'm going to have to work something out here. This is my, uh, my daughter's camera. But anyway, what this could be used for, I drew a little uh, whiteboard map here for you guys, and then I'll give you a little demo of how this little repeater works. So if you can see the little map here, and I got a, a little green mountain there with a river, a main road, and uh, two buildings. Uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but I got one building down here, or a house, and let's say you got a buddy who lives way up over here on the other side of the mountain. But this ridge line's in the way, and uh, when you transmit with your little walkie-talkies, your transmissions are blocked by this mountain. They can't make it around the ridge, so you can't get a hold of your buddy. And you don't have tens of thousands of dollars to buy a fancy repeater. So this is where the simplex repeater might be useful for you. Basically what you would do is take a walkie-talkie handheld, and when you buy this unit online, you can actually order... The specific cable for your specific radio that you're going to use and you can take this little box with a little handheld radio and put it in a piece of Tupperware or something spray it with some camo paint kind of like a trail camera or hunting camera and hide it in the brush someplace and it could be a repeater maybe run for a couple days or even a week depending on what your power is so in this case you know you try to put the simplex repeater up here somewhere hidden on this ridge line and now, any transmissions you send out, what happens is the transmission hits the simplex repeater, this box. And what this box is, is a digital voice recorder. So everything the radio receives goes into this box and gets recorded. And when you're done transmitting and the squelch turns back on, this unit will key that radio you have up there and replay everything you just said like a voicemail. So your transmission would come up, come into the simplex repeater, get recorded. When you were done talking, then this little box here would key that radio up and retransmit it and get you down the ridge line to your buddy's house or your friend's house or wherever you had to talk over here. It's a pretty neat little system. It's uh, not fancy. It's not high speed. Um, let's say you got another guy sitting over here and you transmit up. He's going to hear your first transmission, and then when this retransmits it, he would hear you transmitting twice. So you have to develop some operational discipline with this and realize that it's going to retransmit it. And if you're within earshot of the first transmitting station, you're going to hear that second transmission. But anybody over the ridge line would hear your transmission for the first time, and then they could respond, and it would go back the other way. He could answer your call come back go into that repeater this little box get recorded and then once it's recorded and you're done it would retreat key that radio and retransmit it back down here and you get that message so I'm gonna pause this here and set this up and give you a little demo okay everybody I got the uh, system set up here there's the simplex repeater with the vendor specific cable connected to my Kenwood 2 meter handheld radio and for this demonstration, I'm going to use my Yesu radio here to show you how this thing works. Now, I forgot to mention this earlier. I know these units are legal to use in the amateur radio service, but I'm not sure about the other radio services like CB radio, FRS, GMRS, MRS. So I would uh, caution you to check the FCC website, check the rules to make sure you could, in fact, hook one of these up to a CB radio and be legal. I'm not sure, so check the website. Make sure it's okay to do it. It is for amateur radio, though. 
So I'm going to do a demo here and what you'll see is I'll be transmitting from this handheld. The green light on this radio will light up for receive, be digitally recorded into the simplex repeater. When my transmission ends, the simplex repeater will play that message back, back out on this radio, and it will be received on this radio. So here we go. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Testing of the simplex repeater. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Testing of the simplex repeater. And there you have it. Uh, poor man's repeater. And I'm not sure if you noticed a nice courtesy tone at the end. But this uh, little simplex repeater has some excellent functionality that's programmable through a DTMF pad of a remote radio. So you can have repeater ID, call sign IDs, you can do mailboxes, voicemail, uh, pre-recorded messages. Uh, there's also a neat little feature in this unit is there's two contact pins on the board for controlling an external relay remotely through DTMF. If you wanted to control a light switch or maybe even turn a pump on or off or open or close a gate. Um, you could set one of those up. The manual shows you how to access the two pins there so you could have two different relays operating with this thing as well. So it's a, a neat little unit and for 89 bucks it's an excellent tool in the communications preppers toolbox for emergencies if you need a little extra coverage or just having some difficulty making that distance to another location uh, this might be something you want to consider. So we'll go ahead and give you one more demo so you can see all the lights light up there. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Testing of the simplex repeater. Testing. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Testing of the simplex repeater. Testing. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.